So while swimming itself might increase testosterone levels, if you're swimming in one of those chlorinated pools, then you're gonna experience some of the negative side effects of chlorine, and it might do your body more harm than good. All the information in today's video, plus much more, can be found in my book, Master Your Tea. Visit MasterYourTea.com for a free digital download of the book. $20 in value, absolutely free for you. So how do the side effects of chlorine manifest themselves? In a study led by Nick Milder, uh, it was found out that the adolescent boys who have been heavy users of chlorinated swimming pools actually had significant lower testosterone levels than boys who weren't that keen on swimming. Now Nick Milder and his crew took serum hormone samples from 361 school-age male adolescents between age uh, 14 and 18 years old who have visited swimming pools treated with chlorine. What they found out was that the guys who had visited chlorinated pools for more than 250 hours before the age of 10 and for more than 120 hours before the age of seven had significantly lower testosterone levels compared to the other people who did not go to the pool as often. So this is like swim team, for example. So let's look at the chlorine and water side effects. So this is what the researchers say. Swimming in indoor chlorinated pools during childhood is strongly associated with lower levels of serum inhibit B and total testosterone. The absorption of reprotoxic chlorination byproducts across the highly permeable scrotum might explain these associations. So do these side effects of chlorine or testosterone apply to adults? Answer, unfortunately it does. Chlorine is easily absorbed even through the thicker skin of an adult male. You can test this out by filling a cup up with the water from your local chlorinated pool, then test the water with chlorine testing strips to see how much chlorine there is in the cup. After that, wiggle your fingers in the glass for 60 seconds and then test the water again with another strip. You'll notice that there is no chlorine in the water anymore. Now it's inside your body. Is there a way to reverse this and flush chlorine out from the body? Yes, there is actually. You can supplement with a strong liquid iodine which replaces the chlorine in your cells with a much needed iodine. Just to wrap it all up here, there's a clear connection between the exposure to chlorine and low testosterone levels as shown in the study about chlorinated pools. Even though the study was done in young adolescents, the results still apply to adults too. So if you're a keen swimmer or have spent a lot of time in those chlorinated swimming pools and don't want to experience any chlorine side effects, it could be wise to look into iodine supplementation. So you can get that much needed essential mineral back into the androgen receptors. And if this sounds interesting to you in terms of learning more about how to naturally improve your body's ability to increase testosterone, then you might wanna check out my book. I'm giving it away for free uh, because I want this information to reach as many people as possible. There's no, no uh, catch here. You just go there, masterut.com, you enter your email and I'll send you a link with the download. I'll also give you a free $5 off coupon for Testro X and you can try that out with a 60 day money back guarantee. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.